Energy development in Somaliland is intricately tied to both immediate challenges and long-term ambitions, with a mix of renewable energy projects, policy initiatives, and untapped natural resources shaping its future. The Ministry of Energy and Minerals, Wasarada, Tamarta Ayo, Bagdanta, Somaliland, plays a pivotal role in this development. Responsible for implementing policies on electricity, petroleum, and minerals, the ministry has set its sights on diversifying the energy sector while addressing the nation's pressing energy needs. The current minister, Abdullahi Farah Abdi, oversees these ambitious undertakings, which include landmark projects and resource exploration activities. Efforts to improve energy access have included partnerships with international development organizations. For instance, DFID Somaliland initiated a five-year program, 2014 to 2019, that introduced mini hybrid grids to rural and peri-urban communities. These grids blend solar and diesel power, making energy more accessible and slightly more affordable for marginalized populations. Similarly, ADRA Somaliland launched a three-year initiative, 2015 to 2017, aimed at reducing poverty, mitigating climate change, and enhancing energy resilience in underdeveloped areas. While these programs are promising, they represent small-scale interventions compared to the larger systemic needs of Somaliland's fragmented energy infrastructure. Oil and gas exploration in Somaliland marks another cornerstone of the nation's energy ambitions. GNL Energy and DNOASA, two international operators, have been awarded exploration licenses for onshore blocks, particularly in regions like Odwain in Togdir. GNL Energy, for example, holds a 75% working interest in blocks SL10B and SL13, where resource estimates exceed 1 billion barrels of crude oil. These blocks, along with the Odawain block, exhibit geological characteristics that suggest they may share similarities with the oil-rich basins of Yemen. The tectonic history of the Gulf of Aden supports this assumption, as Somaliland's sedimentary sequences and sub-basins were once contiguous with Yemen before the Gulf's opening. GNL Energy's exploration activities include acquiring and interpreting gravity and aeromagnetic data across a massive 40,000 square kilometer area, roughly equivalent to the size of the Kurdistan region of Iraq. The company has already identified onshore oil seeps, indicating the likelihood of hydrocarbons in large tilted fault blocks. Meanwhile, DNOASA operates in block SL18, a frontier exploration area where development plans include seismic surveys and drilling potable water wells for local communities. Despite this progress, Somaliland faces significant obstacles in transforming its energy sector. Security concerns have delayed some exploration projects, with operators awaiting the establishment of the planned oil protection unit, OPU, to safeguard international investments. Furthermore, the absence of a centralized power grid limits the scalability of energy projects, forcing reliance on isolated mini-grids and diesel generators. These factors keep electricity prices among the highest in the world, with urban households paying up to $1.50 per kilowatt hour, far higher than in Ethiopia or Djibouti. Nevertheless, Somaliland's renewable energy potential remains immense. With over 300 days of sunshine annually and high wind speeds in coastal areas like Berbera, solar and wind energy offer viable alternatives to diesel imports. Pilot projects in these sectors have demonstrated success, but scaling them to meet national demand requires greater investment and policy support. The Ministry of Energy and Minerals has also made strides in regulating and promoting the sector, targeting sustainability and investment. By collaborating with international organizations and private companies, Somaliland is attempting to leverage its untapped energy resources to reduce reliance on costly imports and build a more sustainable energy future. However, realizing this vision will depend on overcoming logistical and security challenges while learning from the experiences of neighboring countries that have successfully capitalized on their energy resources. <laughs>